Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 146. 146, 46th lesson, 46th lesson out of the 6th edition. If you're interested in solving the problems that appeared in the 5th edition for, for, for extra, extra exercises, you will see that you will find that we have so, solved every single math problem that appeared in the previous edition, the 5th edition that I'm holding in my hand. And you will find a solution to those problems, T5, from day 1 through day 80. There are no videos from 81 through 100. We started a new series with day 101 with the 6th edition. We are on page number 92 and starting on page number 92, 92 and 93 you will see that there are some basic concepts of geometry that they expect you to know. Very basic, very fundamental, very fundamental, very rudimentary concepts of geometry. Most of them most likely you already know. Let's begin with something called circumference. What is the circumference? Circumference is usually represented, usually represented with letter C. And circumference, what is it? Circumference is just a very fancy way of saying what is the distance around the circle? What is the distance around the circle? For example, if we have a circle here, I want to find out that if I started walking from this end and I walk all the way around the circle. How much would I end up walking? Well, one way to figure it out, one way to figure it out is actually have a piece of string or a rope, put a, put, put something in here, uh, a stick or something, put a rope around it, and then walk around this entire circle, and then open the rope and find out, or if it's a small circle and piece of paper with a string. That's one way, very rudimentary, very primitive way of doing it, which is what people used to do it up until about 2,000 years ago, until somebody came up with the uh, concept, with the with the, with the notion of measuring circumference without having to actually doing it physically. And the way we do that, the way we do that, circumference, as we said, is the distance around the circle. On the way, on the way we can say distance around the circle is the same thing as saying perimeter of a circle. It shouldn't say distance around the circle, we're not talking about any particular circle. Distance around our circle. Circumference is the distance around a circle, or if you like, perimeter of a circle. Perimeter is just the distance around something. For example, if if so, if you have something like this, what is the distance around this figure? Well, it's very simple. You take a pick a starting point and you measure distance from here to here. Let's call it from A to B, B to C. You measure that. C to D. You measure that. D to E. You measure that. E to F. We measure that. F to G. We measure that. G to H, we measure that, and finally H to A, and we measure that, and we add up all the distances, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, we've missed that, G to H, 6 and 7, and we add up all, the, all of these distances, segment by segment by se segment, and we add, add up all the distances, and we end up where we started with, point A, that sum of those segments is called the perimeter, except in the case of a circle, we don't have segments, it's a one continuous flow. How do we measure it? Well, here's the formula. Circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r. What does r represent? Well, r is very straightforward. r, where r is the radius of the circle. r is the radius. We have to know the radius, otherwise we cannot measure the circumference. Or we have to know the diameter. If you know the diameter, you can figure out the radius because diameter is half the radius. Rather, radius is half the diameter. If we, if we are told what the diameter is from point A to point B, if we know what that distance is, what's the definition for diameter? Diameter is distance across the circle going through the center. It's very important that you say that, that it's a distance across the center, across the circle going through the center. And that distance is the diameter. If we know the diameter, half of that is the, is the radius. But we have to know the radius in order, in, in order for us to be able to use this formula. So circumference is equal to 2 times pi times i. What is pi? 
where pi is constant. Is a natural constant. There are there are some constants that we appear that appear in the nature on a regular basis. We won't go into it. The pi is a little bit. Uh, the, that's not what this video is about. If you are interested, if you are interested in understanding what pi is, I'm not asking you. If somebody asks you what is pi, that question is very different than what is what is pi equal to or how much is pi. When they ask you what is pi, they are not looking for the value of pi. They want to find out conceptually. Do you understand? what pi is, what does pi represent conceptually and if you're interested in that, we're not going to do that in this video as I said already but if you're interested in it, here's what I want you to watch I watch you just type in, go on the YouTube, just type in Keshwani, my name and simply type in what is pi, P-I pi, do you understand? type that in, video will pop right up, watch that video in the event that you are interested in learning what is pi and that video that I just this video that will pop up is the very first video in a series of geometry video that I made geometry day one so you can simply type in Keshwani and then geometry day one and you can watch it's the same video there are 30 videos in that series of geometry day one through 30 you don't have to watch all 30 of them but if you want to brush up on the basic concepts of geometry that's a good series to go to even though I say so myself you, you might learn something there I was about to say you will learn something there, but I don't want to make it so definitive because having having tooted my own horn just a second ago, so I edited my sentence by saying you may learn something. That's up to you to decide. There are 30 of them. So 2 pi r where 2 times pi times y where pi is constant, it never changes, it's a, it's a natural constant that appears constant. I think I misspelled the word constant. Constant. It appears in nature and its value is approximately, not exactly, approximately 3.14 what is the val exact value of what is the exact value of pi not approximately but exact value of pi to which the answer is nobody knows nobody knows it's an irrational number and again we won't go there right now you don't, you don't need to know for, for, for these what it means actually in the in the fifth edition we did talk about what what an irrational number is. It did appear in this in this book and we did cover it. And if you want to learn it, you can watch the series of videos in, in piece 5 from day 1 through 80. You will find irrational number there. Or you can simply type in Keshwani and then the name of the concept irrational number numbers and it will pop right up. But nobody knows irrational numbers. It doesn't, it never ends. It continues forever. So it's 3.1416 and goes on forever. Nobody knows the exact value. You don't have to know the exact value. You don't even have to go to third or fourth digit. 3.14 is good enough. There's two problem. There's two problem. Enough of the talk. So remember, circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r. So we are told that the radius, we are given a circle. This is example one. We are given a circle and we are told that the radius of the circle we are told that the radius of the circle is equal to two and a half feet and the questions are, questions, two of them, questions are first what is the distance across the circle what is the distance across the circle, that's the question what does it mean this distance across the circle this is the basic math series that I told you about before basic math day 1 through 100 you can just watch the first 20 of them if you like you might get something out of it what does it mean distance across a circle but let's draw circles and see what's, what we mean by distance across circles here's my circle here's the here's the center a distance across a circle would be something like this it has to go through the center something like this it has to go through center something like this it has to go through center and each one of these seg lines that I just drew, this line right here, it has a name. The line that goes through the center is called the diameter. So what they're asking here is what is the distance across the circle? They're simply asking you what is this diameter? What well, diameter is simply two times the radius. Two radii, two radii from here to here is one radius, A to B. And then B to C is another radius. Two radii make it make a make a 
make a diameter. So they're asking what's the distance across the circle. That's just two times the radius, and we know what the radius is. The radius is two and a half feet. Two times two and a half feet is the answer. Two times two and a half feet is five feet. And how do we know that? It's very simple. Two times two is four, and two halves are one. You see? Right. One more time. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. As I do it, I'm gonna speak. Two times two and a half. Two twos. Two twos are four. We know that. One two and then two twos are fours. And two halves are one. Two halves are one. So that's five. Here we have two halves. Two times half. Two halves. If you have a half and another half, that's the, that's the whole whole pizza. Two halves are one. And two twos are four. So that's the answer. First question was what's the distance across the circle? For a circle whose radius we are told is two and a half feet, the answer is the distance across the circle in that case will be five feet exactly. Next question is what is the distance around the circle? What is the distance around the circle? Around, not across, but around the circle. Well, the distance around the circle is circumference. This distance around the circle is called the circumference, which we know is 2 times pi times r. We know the value of pi, we can put it in a second, and we know the radius, which is 2.5 feet. We just figured out 2 times 2.5 is 5, so it's going to be 5 pi feet. Or if you like, 5 times 3.14 but as soon as we do that, as soon as we do that, this is no longer correct. It is not equal to, it is no longer equal to because this is not the exact value of pi, this is an approximate value of pi. So we cannot write, we cannot, we cannot claim that it is equal to anymore. We have to say it is approximately equal to. Or if you just want a, if you just want a rough estimate, we can pretend that pi is about 3 because it's 3.14, so it's approximately the distance around the circle whose radius is two and a half feet is going to be about 15 feet. Because you see three times three times five. It's, it's going to be around 15 feet. That was it. That's all we need to know for the T's. These are basic concepts as I said. I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye now.